So we have the basic structure of a web page here. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to insert an image into one of these navigation slots so that we can add in our a button, essentially. So in order to insert an image, I'm going to click where I want the image to go. So I'm going to want it to go into this cell here. And I'm going to go up to Insert. And I'm going to go down to Image. And I'm going to press Image. and hopefully you will have any images that you want to use in your website saved in an appropriate location. I've got this folder here called images, which is quite clear. You might also have further folders that might hold your buttons, that might hold your banners and other different things, but my buttons are just loose in here. I'm going to choose button normal. You might have decided to name your button something more specific, like homepage button, um, but I've just called this button for the purposes of this demonstration, and I'm going to press OK. And that is going to insert my button. Now you can see instantly that this has really deformed my table. Okay, and so what I want to do is I want to come down here to where my image is and I want to tell my image to have the height of 100%. So I want it to be as tall as the table, the, the division that it's in. I'm going to get rid of the width. Now I'm going to tell my table division here, it's being told that it is uh, 47 tall. I'm going to change that to, let's say, 20. And if I click up here, you can see that that's really dropped the button. Now, We've also got a bit of an issue with the width because this is much wider now than these other cells. And so I need to make sure that that is taken care of as well. We have five columns here. And so each of these should be 20% of the width because we've got five columns. They're all going to add up to 100% of the width of this element. Remember, we're just talking about 100% of what we're inside. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this table division should have the width equal to, and then in speech marks, I'm going to put uh, 20%. Now that has dropped this down to 20%. And you can go through and add this to all of your different table divisions if you so wish. Uh, I might do this as I go through with each image, but that is how you can control what each one, the width of each one. So height equals 20 that is looking okay this button is looking a bit small though i've not designed it to be proper for this image for this size here so it's important that you kind of are aware of the dimension so maybe now that i've got my table here it's a good time to now go in and think about how i'm going to make my assets okay so i need to button here it's going to have to be 20 tall i've told it to be 20 and so if i change this to 40 for instance that's going to make this navigation bigger and so then i'd need to update my graphics so you need to make sure that you're kind of happy with where they are because this will influence your button design and then you can go in and design your button and then it will fit nicely in this box in order to get the width we know that we've told this whole section here to be 1024 pixels wide. So if we just divide that by five, that will give us how wide each individual element will be. Okay, so you can work that out 1024 divided by five, and uh, you will be able to have the width for that button.